Hello everyone and welcome to this eighth video in our Leela opening repertoire series. I'm Grandmaster Matthew Sandler and we're having a look at openings that are a little bit nimzo indian -y. So with knight f6 and 2e6. So what is Leela's favourite move? Well, we know it already. It is g3. We saw that one before and uh, yeah, Leela's main line is uh, the main line Catalan. Um, which we've also seen Komodo Dragon playing as well in the uh, TCC bonus that's been going on recently. Um, yeah, so we already saw uh, this line, bishop f6, knight f6, a5 was chosen by Leela once. Also, uh, rook d1 was another move that, uh, that uh, Leela liked. Queen d6, e3, a5, h4, queen e2, queen e7. All following a, a correspondence game, also getting quite way down uh, Dubov Vidit. Uh, from chess.com 2022 and now e4 is uh, is Leela's move and actually uh, just thinking I'm just wondering whether this was actually even the game uh, uh, Komodo Dragon against Ethereal from the uh, TCC bonus uh, recently. Um, it's a slight advantage for white I mean Leela gives uh, gives white 0.12 um, but uh, uh, again not necessarily too scary for black but it's definitely something you can play for a win certainly got more chances than in a Berlin. Um, what are White's normal ideas? Well, obviously, apart from g3, knight c3 is pretty common. And, uh, well, bishop b4, at lower depths, Leela likes uh, the move queen c2. Um, so, uh, and this is its main line, quite different to, uh, to stockfishes, I have to say, and uh, Komodo dragons as well. So g5, knight c6, e3, h5, I mean, really aggressive stuff. Uh, bishop b5 and knight e4. Um, and uh, this is actually the game Serrano against Bluebound, chess.com, 2020, where white went um, knight f3. Uh, bishop b5, bishop d3 rather, is Leela's novelty. Uh, bishop a5 takes, knight e2 takes, queen d5. But to be honest, I mean, I, I do quite like, uh, I do quite like black here. Obviously a little bit of a problem with the, uh, with the king side, but it's not too bad. And uh, um, yeah, you know, I mean, Leela gives it 0 0.07 for white. But queen c2 is not Leela's favourite move. The, the favourite move, I mean, it really surprised me, but uh, Komodo and, uh, uh, and Stockfish also want the same. They all feel that 4e3, the Rubinstein, is White's best attempt. I mean, it's not giving White a huge amount, but somehow the chances for an advantage are better than queen c2. Um, and this is Leela's main line. Actually, it goes for the Karpov variation. Um, yeah, I mean, Stockfish goes for uh, something completely different. Um, Leela goes for this uh, Karpov variation. Knight bd7 and then uh, bishop b5. I mean white's big problem is that you know if you could get your pieces properly organized with uh, a bishop maybe on b3, rook on c1, rook on e1, get in c4 you know I mean I I've had you know a game I had a very nice game against uh, the Australian grandmaster Justin Tan you know where I got everything I wanted and the whole game flowed beautifully but um, it's just very hard for white to do that and white just spends up, uh, ends up spending um, a few useless moves just to try and get those c3 and d4 pawns protected. So, uh, but this is uh, Leela's idea, rook c1, bishop d3, rook e8, rook e1. As you can see, you know, pieces have moved around a little bit. Um, rook d8, and uh, this is Leela's idea, um, a, a pawn sacrifice, actually known from a Karpov game, uh, Karpov Taimanov. Uh, Taimon of Karpov rather, famous game and uh, yeah Karpov won it of course uh, um, well uh, Leela thinks that um, that white can hold this but you know I mean uh, these light squares are very weak we're getting knight d5 in it's very unlikely that white can hold the c3 pawn so it's just going to end up equal so um, but again you know I mean um, some some good play from uh, from uh, uh, from uh, from black required I think you know once white gets the uh, uh, the structure, you know, and uh, is threatening to do something like knight e5 and uh, then afterwards uh, queen g4 and start attacking the king's side. This could be really, really dangerous, but uh, yeah, a really accurate move like rook d8, sacrificing the pawn and, uh, well, really just uh, stopping white from getting any sort of king's side initiative. I mean, uh, this must be fine for black. Um, I mean, I also had a look, um, I mean, another critical line for white normally is uh, f3, but uh, Leela likes exactly the same line as Stockfish, which is just this uh, Benko-ish type gambit. Um, and uh, the line that Leela goes for is slightly different. Bishop d2, a6, a4, takes, takes, b takes, a4, knight bd7. Um, yeah, quite, uh, 
quite sharp really but I mean simply you know I mean white gets a pawn but black's got plenty of activity here and uh, knight d7 coming round to c5 to be honest yeah I'd feel rather nervous about this this is actually a correspondence game um, um, but Leela gives it 0 0.04 and uh, well doesn't feel like good winning chances for uh, for white really uh, black's you know, got plenty of, uh, of counterplay there so yeah, Nimzo Indian, none of the engines think that this is a very good uh, try for, for uh, the initiative. I mean, knight f3 is better, and then uh, obviously the engines prefer d5 as a, an equalizing uh, opportunity. b6 is quite funny because uh, Leela's main line is actually uh, an alpha zero game against Stockfish 8. So uh, knight c3 castles, castles knight d7, knight e5, bishop b7. And uh, yeah, I mean, we analyze this in uh, in great depth in um, uh, the Silicon Road to uh, to chess improvement. And uh, it's actually a game that I've, uh, uh, a game uh, alpha zero against Stockfish 8 that, that uh, Natasha and I have demonstrated at, at clubs in England, you know, for uh, all over the country. Um, because um, there was a book by, by um, I think it was the, um, Israeli Grandmaster uh, Michael Ruiz which looked at this position and gave eight alternatives uh, and uh, Alpha Zero played a ninth which is a4 obviously the the rook's pawn being launched in order to uh, create an attack and uh, um, well Leela's main line is uh, is c5 which is uh, quite decent um, Stockfish 8 played c6 which is also quite interesting I mean it's a very common idea you solidify the pawn on d5 and you're threatening knight e5 and knight d7 you're just trying to loosen up the white structure in that way you know, and uh, if white plays e4 the idea is that you play c5 and break back in that way it's a very clever idea um, but um, yeah I mean the alpha zero game well worth uh, just giving you a little uh, go of it a6 using that a pawn just as a decoy and then attacking on the king side Stockfish 8 picks up the pawn and now uh, this is the big moment really. Bishop g5 has been played in correspondence and it's also the very best defence. Uh, Stockfish 8 played um, rook e8, e4, d4, knight e2, bishop b4 and got hit by this uh, three pawn sacrifice knight f4 and there's some uh, amazing variations. As I said, you know, it's uh, all in uh, the silicon road to, uh, to chess improvement. Um, yeah, Leela's main line is to play c5 and then after bishop f4, rook e8, a5 takes. Um, actually, this is also in the Silicon Road to Chess Improvement. I actually analyzed this uh, um, for the book. And um, yeah, I mean, I think I actually thought that uh, I was quite keen on rook takes c5 here as an exchange sacrifice. Leela wants uh, rook a4, knight e4 takes, takes d5, queen d5 takes, which is a slight advantage to white. I mean, these pawns are weak. The likelihood that you get rook and four against rook and three is quite high, probably. But OK, you know, that's still a draw, basically. White on top, but uh, black kind of, uh, you know, holding reasonably uh, comfortably there. But quite, uh, quite striking that, uh, you know, that Leela also wanted the, uh, you know, the alpha zero approach there. So there we are. That was the, uh, the Nimzo Indian, Queen's Indian, Catalan. Uh, next video is on the Grunfeld and King's Indian. So stay tuned.